When you think of the longest piece of music ever written, you might be thinking of a thick book with many pages of music lasting hours. But in fact, this is the longest piece ever written for the piano. Yes, that's it, just one page. And of course, there's a catch to it. At the top of the page, the instruction tells the pianist to play the motif 840 times in succession. 840 times. To give a bit of context, the tempo marking of the piece says very slow, which is open to interpretation. But with each repetition lasting around 2 minutes, we are looking at around 1680 minutes or 28 hours of music. Now you might be thinking, this must be a joke, right? Who in the right mind will repeat a piece of music for 840 times? Well, it might actually be a joke. The thing is, no one knows. Especially when it's written by this guy, Eric Satie. I've already made a video on Satie, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. But just to give a quick introduction, Eric Satie was a French composer in the late 19th century, and he was known for his eccentric style of music, also expressed through his titles, such as his Three Pieces in the Shape of a Pear, which is actually a collection of seven pieces. Other pieces such as Gymnopodies and Gnosins also have unconventional titles that demand some kind of explanation. And in this piece, he again titles it with a rather unconventional name, Vexations, which could mean irritation or annoyance. The instruction at the beginning of the piece, besides telling the performer to play the piece 840 times, also states that, quote, it would be advisable to prepare oneself beforehand and in the deepest silence by serious immobilities. Satie never talked about this piece, nor was it known during his lifetime as it was only discovered long after his death. Knowing Satie's personality and eccentricity, we can't even be sure if he seriously meant for the piece to be performed this way or if he was just trolling us with a musical joke. There are many theories for the meaning behind this piece. One of them says that Satie was spiteful of being rejected by the French painter Suzanne Valadon after their brief affair, hence composing this piece to express his annoyance. Satie could also be reacting against the music of Wagner, which is known for its length and harmonic complexity. Vexations might be mocking Wagnerism through its extreme length and complex harmonic language. The piece begins with a bass line known as the theme, a haunting melody that has some confusing use of accidentals, mixing sharps and flats in an illogical manner. And then, the right hand joins in above, harmonizing the theme with chords loaded with even more accidentals. These accidentals don't make sense in the tonal language and seem to exist just for the sake of making the piece look confusing and complex. The chords then give way to another iteration of the theme on the left hand. The theme doesn't conform to any key center, and interestingly, it has almost all 12 notes of the scale, except for the A flat. The second time the right hand joins in, it plays the exact chords from before, except that this time they are inverted. Almost all of these are diminished chords, which are unstable due to the lack of a perfect fifth and demand resolution. However, as the music meanders through these chords, there is a great sense of tension that never gets resolved, making it rather unsettling. Then the music repeats from the beginning, and this happened over and over again for 840 times. 
So when I was playing the piece, the accidentals really threw me off since the way they are used goes against how musicians are typically trained to read music. For example, Sati has a B double flat going to an A sharp. Now, normally B would go down to A, but B double flat is actually and harmonically the same note as A, which is lower than A sharp. And this really messes up my brain, especially when trying to sight read this. So I have to think that B double flat goes up to A sharp. This makes me wonder why Sati notated vexations this way. In fact, it is entirely possible to rewrite the piece with accidentals that make much more sense. But I think that would miss the whole point of the piece. When playing it with the original accidentals, it takes so much more effort to just read the score and even more difficult to memorize the music. So I guess at least for me, every time playing the piece would kind of feel different. And even though the piece is performed 840 times, it feels different every single time reading it. And I probably wouldn't get bored as easily. Vexations has a long performance history since its discovery. First premiered in a concert organized by John Cage in 1963, which involved more than 10 pianists taking turns to play. What's interesting about this concert is that the audience is refunded a certain amount of ticket price for every 20 minutes they stay for the concert. According to Cage, he wanted to bring across the idea that the more art you consume, the less you pay. The first solo performance happened in 1967, and subsequent performances lasted durations ranging anywhere from 15 to 35 hours, depending on the tempo the pianist chose to take. So what do you think? Is this a serious piece of music, or is it just Satie's musical meme? In any case, it is a baffling piece of music, and we can perhaps never really understand Satie's original intention. Truly a vexation indeed.